Hey guys, this is Bob. Um, I'm actually helping out Tyler Begley channel. I'm definitely uh, overworked and underpaid, as everybody can relate to. Uh, but that's okay. I'm actually going to do a video today on the Minecraft server and how to set up your friends to give the operators permissions. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to look at is what levels can you set those uh, friends up for. And so we're just going to open up a browser and I'm going to go to Minecraft Wiki, uh, which you can actually go to this site as well. It's called uh, the URL for it is minecraft.gamepedia.com uh, forward slash Minecraft underscore Wiki. And we're going to go and look up server properties because that's where you'll actually set the uh, properties. Uh, for the server to allow your friends to have those permissions. So once it pulls that page up, you'll scroll approximately halfway down the page. And it's been really slow here. And I'm actually logged onto my server remotely. So it's got some lag in it. But it's about halfway down the page. Okay. And we look and we see it here. It says op permission level. So this, what you're going to set it up for, and I'll show you where to do that at, is a number between 1 and 4. And as you can see here, there's actually different levels. Level 1 being the lowest level where ops can bypass spawn protection. Level 2 offers some commands such as clear difficulty, effect, game mode, game rule, give, TP, and can edit command blocks. Level 3 adds additional commands such as ban, deop, kick, and op. Level 3 is a level that you'd really want to trust someone before you gave them level 3. Uh, level 4, of course, is all of the commands below plus uh, the command stop. So what we're going to do, uh, unless you're running a server like Bucket or Feed the Beast, and we're just running the regular Minecraft server, uh, whatever level you select is every one that you put on your ops uh, list is going to have this level. But today we're going to set it for ops level 4 because we're going to give it to friends that we actually trust. So I wanted to show this to you. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your Minecraft folder where you have your server at. And there's two files that we want to look at. Uh, one of them is the ops uh, file and it's actually a text document and the other one is the server and it's a properties file so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the server file just double click it and open it up and if you'll notice close to the top you'll see ops permission level and we already have it set to four here but if you wanted to change that to three or even to two you could do that and of course once you get the level that you want uh, just go up to file and save or you can hit control S either one. Once you have that level set then you will close this file back out. The next thing you want to do is open up your ops file. Just double click it. Uh, we're going to add someone that we really trust. Um, let's see, let's add Bob. So we'll put Bob in there. That's me. Of course I trust myself. And then we're just going to save this and click save. Uh, if you wanted to add additional friends, you would just go to a new line and uh, put whoever your friend is, John. John Don. Like that. And then you could go uh, Sally. And then, of course, you would just say File, Save. And what's going to happen is the people that you have listed here, and this is their gamer name, their Minecraft gamer name, once you save them in this file and you set up your server properties to uh, whatever level it is then when they log into your server they're going to have the ability to type those commands in and perform those functions within minecraft so once you do this and normally you should make sure that your server is stopped uh, when you do it but if not you definitely want to restart your server uh, because these uh, options won't take effect until the server has been restarted so hope you liked it uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, click like if you liked it. 
and we welcome all comments. So uh, looking forward to uh, hearing what you have to say, and any suggestions would be appreciated. Thank you.